What is up everybody? I'm Adam. Welcome back to Mustang Nation. Now license plates are something that we have to have on every vehicle as proof of registration. But we all know front license plates, ah, they're kind of ugly. Now if you live in a state where front plates are not required, well, thank heaven for that. But here in New York, front plates are required and while it sucks, Nobody wants to pay that ticket. Now some cars, like my 99 GT, actually have a cutout in front where the license plate would be. And since our GT was delivered brand new with a front license plate bracket on it, the holes are already drilled. But if you are fortunate enough to have a car where the front plate mounting holes have not been drilled, you really don't want to mess that up. Now my 2004 Mustang Cobra doesn't have those holes drilled in the bumper. And we all know how beautiful the Terminator bumper is. So how do you get a front plate without drilling those awful holes in the bumper? Well, I think I picked something up. That might be the solution. Let's get over to the bench and take a look at what we got. So what I have here is a front license plate bracket kit from Craig's Custom Mustang Brackets. And they make front license plate brackets for several different years of Mustangs, including my SVT Cobra, but they even make it for limited editions like Celine's. And the way this is designed to install is requires absolutely zero drilling, no holes, and no permanent changes to the front bumper of your car, which is a big, big sell for me. But in addition to that, you still get the um, convenience, I guess, of legally mounting a front plate to your vehicle. So let's open up the box and see what's inside. So opening up the box, here's what you get. You get instructions, which are printed in full color, nicely wrapped. You have the bracket itself. The bracket itself is kind of like, a, it's like a big L, L bracket. Um, right here is where you would mount your license plate. And underneath here, these little feet, so to speak, you loosen up the wing nut a little bit. And then what happens is your bumper cover actually gets sandwiched between this area. And you just snug these up, tighten them up, and it'll sit. Now what I did was I ordered this silicone kind of license plate frame off Amazon. I'll leave a link below if you're interested. I think it was like seven or eight bucks. And what I like about it is, if this does come into contact with the body, with the bumper, it's also silicone, it's not going to scratch, and it kind of looks like a license plate frame. So what we have to do first is bolt this onto the bracket and then get under the car and install it on the car. So the one thing that I think it's important to note, and I believe this is in the directions, whereas a conventional license plate nut and bolt would go from the front towards the back, um, they recommend putting the slotted head of the bolt facing the bumper cover. This way you have actually less protruding out and less of a chance that it might contact the bumper cover. Like I said, I think this looks pretty cool. The silicone kind of looks like a license plate frame, but I don't want to have a large bulky metal frame that could potentially scratch the um, uh, front bumper cover. So let's throw it on the car and see how it looks. So there you have it, installed took about five minutes, maybe a little bit less. I think it looks great. Does it look as good as no plate at all? Of course not. Uh, it stinks that we have to put a front plate on at all, but it would also stink more if I got a front plate ticket. So this way it keeps everybody happy. The state's happy, I'm happy. And if I do wanna take it off, to remove it, you just remove the two wing nuts from maybe a car show or something like that, and it'll come off in about five minutes. It's, it's a really solid piece. 
And just to remind you, I did add that silicone license plate frame thing just because I like the way it looks and it adds another layer of protection for about $8. Now the bracket here from Craig's Custom Mustang Brackets costs about $55 plus a few bucks for shipping. So overall, I'm pretty pleased with the product. It does exactly what I need it to do. It holds the license plate on the front without drilling any holes, without compromising the looks of the front bumper cover. And if in the future I move to a state that doesn't require front plates or I'm at a show and I wanna take it off, it's pretty simple to take it off. And there'll be no signs that anything was ever there. I'll leave a link down below where you can go to Craig's custom Mustang brackets and pick your own up, as well as a link for that silicone license plate frame. Well, thank you so much for watching. And if you found this video valuable, do me a favor, hit that like button. And better yet, make sure you subscribe so you get all the latest content here on the channel. Take care, everybody. I'll see ya.